is all as I told you it is all about the reputation I get from uh, ITRA performance uh, and my name was not uh, well known in uh, in Egypt mm -hmm. uh, but when they saw the video they saw the quality of uh, the music that we are uh, providing here in Saudi Arabia they got interested to have one performance there in Charlotte <laughs> Hello and welcome to the May Man Show. As usual, we are coming to you from our studios in Riyadh, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And today we have a Arabic singer born and living in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. We have Hajar Al Khashab. Thank you very much for being with us. Thanks a lot for you and this opportunity. And uh, Hajar, you're you're you're. Uh very talented singer who uh, has uh, been around the music scene in, in Saudi since it's been picking up uh, with with a lot of uh, activities in Riyadh season and Vision 2030 initiatives. So what was your last performance uh, exactly? Yeah, uh, my last performance was in Ithra. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, that was an amazing experience for me. They... Um, they had the kind of uh, theme of uh, Cairo Glimps. Okay. And it was uh, really interesting. Um, a lot of people uh, come to Ithra to listen for uh, Arabic classic music. Okay. I sing uh, for six successive days, four hours per day. So it was really different experience for me. Mm -hmm. um, we did a kind of fusion, like a fusion uh, between uh, uh, Arabic classic music and uh, Khaliji music, like... Uh, that was really interesting and okay. people like it a lot. Let me tell you, it was a fusion between Ahwak and Leila Lubagi Leila. Okay. Then we say Leila Lubagi Leila Bongi. So that was so much fun. Okay. Uh, people enjoy it a lot. So that um, that actually was uh, my last performance in uh, in Saudi Arabia. Okay, so like, um, you know, like Ithra has uh, hosts uh, lots of attendees from different cultures and everything. So what's, what, what was uh, like uh, the attendance and feedback from the non-Arabic speaking audience that was there? Uh, it was really interesting to see like um, um, different cultures listening to in listening and enjoying to the uh, classic arabic uh, arabic music they uh, i i see like chinese uh, um uh, japanese uh, like um, let's say indian a lot a lot a lot of nationalities who mm -hmm. really enjoyed the performance and they came after and tell me that it was really enjoyable, and yet uh, they are not understanding what I'm saying, you know. Okay. So that was really interesting for me. All right. And uh, what, what uh, you know, makes an opportunity like performing in, in, in Ithra unique uh, for uh, a talent such as yourself? And uh, what, what, uh, what, what usually, you know, like what happened af uh, after this performance? Like what uh, exactly, how did it add value to your career, let's say? Uh, yeah. This experience, like, uh, uh, give me uh, the privilege to have too many opportunities mm -hmm. uh, inside Saudi Arabia and as outside as well. You know, um, I'm so proud of myself that I started here in Saudi Arabia. Okay. And from that, uh, Cairo, uh, or let's say Opera uh, Egypt, contact me to have a performance in Cairo. So uh, that was very special for me mm -hmm. uh, to have that kind of opportunity starting start, starting from here, from Saudi Arabia, then uh, moving to other uh, countries. Um, I'm so glad uh, to have uh, that kind of opportunity with ITRA and uh, too many opportunities that I have, uh, that I have uh, uh, get from uh, Ministry of Culture. Okay, I mean, and, and and you know, this gives you some good exposure because you know, as as uh, you know, the Cairo Opera House has has its own ways of of doing things and attracting talent. So, um, what was unusual about them contacting you? I mean, because you know, like usually they uh, have a certain way of getting talent to perform. What what made yours so different? Um, it is all as I told you. It is all about the reputation I get from uh, Ithra performance, uh, and my name was not uh, well known in. Uh, uh, in Egypt mm -hmm. uh, but when they saw the video they saw the quality of uh, the music that we are uh, providing here in Saudi Arabia they got interested to have one performance there inshallah in February 
Okay. And aside from Mithra, you know, you've been performing in different parts of, of Saudi for different uh, initiatives, festivals, uh, or, you know, so where have you performed in Saudi and what were some of your fondest moments, if you can tell um, us? Yeah, actually, I performed in too many stages here in uh, Saudi Arabia, like uh, with Riyadh season for Salam stage and uh, uh, Bolivard uh, Music Zone, uh, also with the uh, Taif uh, Festival. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going, inshallah, very soon uh, to uh, Abha Festival or Asir Festival uh, this week. Okay. So um, it is really, um, I, I, I had performance in too many stages here. I um, And also I still dreaming to have uh, more opportunities to sing, for example, in Al Ula, in Yom, in uh, Abu Bakr Salim on Muhammad Abdul stage. So, you know, sky's high. <laughs> All right. Okay. So aside from performing, what's what's your you know fondest moment of basically you know touring Saudi and showcasing your talent to different people? Um, you know, um, I uh, I born and raised here in Saudi Arabia, and I can see the revolution happening in every aspect. Like uh, it is, uh, it, it all the aspects are, are changing. Um, music everywhere. Um, we can sing freely. We can uh, we can show our talent. Uh, um, I'm I'm also passionate to see like Saudi girls when my friends I have a lot of Saudi girls uh, who are singing and now they started to take their career like um, singing on big stages yeah. and this is really interesting for me. Okay, and so like you know you grew, you know you grew up here so like uh, and and uh, you know the fact that you're you know you're you're proud of having these opportunities and seeing your friends having these opportunities. Um, you know, just before Vision 2030, there wasn't that platform, let's just uh, say. And, you know, now there is plenty of them, uh, you know, events uh, that are sponsored by the Ministry of Culture, events that are sponsored by the General Entertainment Authority and, and other organizations uh, in, in, in the kingdom who are making it happen and who are making the entertainment sector thrive in general. Um, you know, like, how do you generally get uh, approached, you know, to showcase your talent? Uh, or it was the consequences of uh, p- small performances that I had in uh, a platform uh, called Vocally. Mm-hmm. Uh, we st- I started with them uh, like a talent. Okay. Uh, I never I never sing uh, like um, when I was l- like young. I, s- I used to sing small songs and this not like to have a performance of four hours uh, like now. Okay. But uh, actually they work hard with me. Uh, I'm really thankful for that uh, that platform in a specific because they worked with me um, uh, and the, from through this uh, platform I uh, I was approached by too many different agencies uh, diff- uh, w- through all th- also the Ministry of Culture uh, to uh, perform uh, in big stages okay and uh, are you self-taught like did you teach yourself how to sing or were you uh, yes. coached okay yes, and actually yes uh, it is all um, it's it's a pure talent, no background. Okay. I'm a pharmacist in the origin, mm-hmm. and I have different a profession. But uh, yes, I I work it myself, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah. And how do you find the balance to be you know a pharmacist and a professional singer? I mean, uh, they're both very demanding careers. It is the passion. <laughs> it is the passion, really. So okay. I can spend the whole day working, like mm-hmm. seven, until seven p.m. and go and change my clothes and go to big stage and sing. Okay. So it is all about the passion. And thankful I'm I'm good. I'm working with uh, with a good uh, company now that uh, they had in the contract that I am a, an artist and they really understand that okay. I can ask for uh, for time for time for uh, for singing. Yeah. Okay. And so this- as well as I'm managing both, uh, they are uh, so cute. That- all right, and then they're they're more than happy to to to, to support, support you. Yes, with and this. they are. And and uh, so, when did it all start? Like, if what was it? Uh, what year did did? Uh, uh, Two thousand nineteen. Two thousand nineteen. Yes. Okay. And then we had the shutdown of uh, COVID. All right. We thought that خلاص everything is uh, gone. Mm-hmm. Um, yet we okay. continue uh, online. Mm-hmm. And we had uh, too many uh, online videos that was uh, spreading like uh, yeah. so much um, during COVID. Were they videos we, that you made for COVID, like during COVID, or dur- were they old videos? During the, no, during co- COVID, okay. we collaborate. We um, me and the musicians like uh, doing um, uh, videos uh, f- uh, f- from home. 
Okay. I see, I see, uh, they do the track. Mm -hmm. They send me the track. Okay. I uh, take a mic like that and I sing uh, and we work uh, on it and we put it on social media and we we had actually on that time I mm -hmm. had a pendant time for uh, for uh, exercising. All right. So it was positive for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And and uh, what was uh... Let's say like the song that stood out the most, that went viral, got a lot of traction online during that time. Um, during COVID, um, actually we sing for uh, Ramadan, Ramadan okay. like that. Mm -hmm. So we sang, uh, we sing uh, as well. Uh, no, actually one of the viral um, songs that I uh, had. Um, uh, one Khaliji song. Okay. Although I'm, uh, and mostly I sing like um, classic Arabic music. Okay. But I sing for. Um, uh, okay. That that went crazy okay. on uh, TikTok. So. Um, and and as I told you, the 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 viral thing that happens on um, uh, on social media, the the special uh, thing, like if you're f doing fusion between Arabic and uh, classic Arabic music and the Khaliji, like that, this okay. is the one that really went crazy here. Yeah. All right, and uh, before you know COVID nineteen lockdown and everything, what what was the first uh, concert you were approached to perform? You know, in two thousand nineteen. Uh, it was uh, one with the uh, American Embassy uh, okay. in uh, the diplomatic quarter. All right. uh, like they were celebrating, like uh, I can remember, it is. It was the uh, their uh, eighty year, eighty years here in 80 Saudi. Eighty year of, of uh, establishing, yeah, of establishing the, embassy, the in Saudi. embassy in Saudi Arabia. Yes. Okay. So I sing on uh, that concert. Uh, <laughs> then directly the lockdown. Yeah. Yeah. So you thought you were cursed, right? As soon as that happened. Yeah. Right? yeah. Like, okay, I'm never going to sing again. <laughs> Actually, no. It was really, uh, I didn't uh, th think like that. I was really positive about uh, things. And uh, like, I believe that things will go. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yes, it, uh, it is like a stage that we we will pass by. Then uh, All right. thing, uh, good things are coming. Yeah. All right. And then fast forward when everything started opening up again in, in COVID. What was, you know, your, the, I guess the, the performance that happened as, as soon as, you know, the con Saudi opened up again and started hosting events again? Uh, we started to make small events with, uh, with uh, Vocally. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, Riyadh season uh, come. Then we sing a lot in uh, Riyadh season, uh, big stages like Al Salam and uh, Music Zone. Okay. And, uh, you know, where do you see, you know, your, your career going and what do you hope to achieve, achieve and where do you see like the, the music industry going in Saudi right now? You know, since yeah. you're someone who is part of the wave, you're, you're part of this transformation now. Yeah. Uh, actually for me, uh, I'm enjoying the journey. Uh, okay. I'm very happy with what I'm doing now. Uh, yet I believe that uh, sky's high. We can I can sing in bigger stages and uh, uh, a lot of audiences. Uh, like uh, I believe that uh, I have a bigger chance. As I mentioned, I wish to sing in uh, in Alaula Maraya in uh, Niom. So, uh, this is the short term, you know. This is okay. the short term. The short term plan. vision of the dream. Yes. Okay. And for the long term. Uh, to sing all over the world, to to have my voice uh, everywhere in the Middle East and uh, maybe okay. all over the world. So if I had to pick a country in the world, you know, that would be like your biggest dream to perform in. Where would it be? Saudi Arabia. Saudi still, Arabia? Okay. Still Saudi Arabia. I'm so proud of uh, being here and performing here. Uh, the country is... Uh, is amazing now. Uh, every every everyone is looking to to Saudi Arabia in different way now. Yeah. Okay. So I'm so proud of uh, being here in Saudi Arabia and starting here my career. All right. And aside from starting out your career here, you know, um, you were born and raised here in in Saudi and yeah. in Abha. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Exactly. I'm uh, Abha. Okay. And and uh, what did living in 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 Abha, very artistic uh, part of of Saudi, how did that influence you in your career? Um, honestly speaking, before when I was like young, I um, 
You know, the weather there is different than yeah, of course. Uh, Riyadh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I used to go to work in the Suda Mountain, 3,000 meters above sea level, the highest peak yeah. in the kingdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, and I'm I'm so excited for my for my next visit because it's like uh, now it's like 10 years or maybe oh 15 years mm-hmm. I didn't visit Abha. Okay. So uh, I'm so much excited about my performance, my first performance in the place I was born in. So uh, it is different ex- experience for me. All right. So you moved from Abha to Riyal? Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, I, I moved from Ab- uh, from Abha uh, to Egypt to, okay. uh, f- to to study pharmaceuticals. Uh, then I came back. Uh, and now uh, yani I live in uh, Riyadh. I, I want also to live in uh, uh, Khobar okay. for uh, In the three eastern years. province. Yes. Okay. So it was really nice uh, place as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, now I'm in Riyadh, like uh, okay. the, my world, um, the last 10, uh, 15 years, uh, I'm here. Yeah? All right. And then uh, so like, you know, you've lived in different places in, 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 in Saudi. Uh, yeah, oh. we went to Taif for a Taif festival. Uh, mm-hmm. Now I'm going to uh, Abha. Inshallah, the best is yet uh, coming. Yeah. Okay. And, and what do you notice, uh, you know, the difference between like, you know, Abha, Riyadh, Khobar, Taif, like, you know, like each each place has its own People's subculture. Taste. The people's tastes? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it was uh, uh, in, in uh, my last performance in Ithra, like 16,000 uh, came through uh, Ithra to to see that glimpse of Cairo. And all of them, like, uh, really uh, know... Uh, classic Arabic music more than me. They okay. ask me for hard, you know, like very old songs, mm-hmm. hard songs that I didn't, I didn't know about, you know. Yeah, which one so, was like, okay, I don't know this song. Uh, <laughs> wallahi, listen, yani, uh, okay, so there is one, I got, uh, I didn't know the name of uh, the song. Okay. Inta al All right. Uh, Inter Hub is an amazing uh, song, mm-hmm. but uh, I know a, s- a small part of it, so okay. I don't know Inter Hub or the name of the, of the song. So I, when I Google it, like uh, search it, when when someone asked to, to me, mm-hmm. guys, you know Inter Hub, right. so I, I I thought that you know, for example, Alf Leila uh, Leila, they know the the very common uh, but when they speak, uh, mm-hmm. the, the very common uh, songs for. Uh, for, uh, for for Arabic uh, okay. classic music, you know, but uh, they surprised me. Uh, Eastern province uh, people, Riyadh as well. They are. Um, oh, Riyadh, Riyadh is amazing. <laughs> you know, I am I'm now like uh, very loyal to uh, Riyadh people um, because they keep asking me, "Have you uh, seen uh, Khaliji?" and uh, uh, classic uh, classic Arabic. Okay. So uh, when I do that kind of uh, show, mm-hmm. having a different uh, mixing taste. in these fusions and everything together. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. So that like, is very fun. Yeah, they're very nice. They like it a lot. Okay. And uh, how did you start to sing? What made you get into music? You know. Um, I had that inside uh, all the time. All the time, I have that inside myself but i didn't have the opportunity i didn't have uh, I, I didn't dream uh, dream even to to sing in saudi arabia you know okay it was impossible all right everyone know but when we had that kind of a chance i i take it like uh, as a start like uh, never thought that it will be a profession or to be that much big okay. so i started just to uh, give my feelings with uh, singing mm-hmm. you know then it uh, it went like that. All right, and uh, what what does you know? Did you get support from your family? Like, did, were they you know encouraging you to to become a singer? Or like, no, I'll become a pharmacist. Just uh, you? you know, uh, in the beginning they were afraid from this step mm-hmm. they, uh, because uh, they they don't know they don't they don't know how how much we are respected here in Saudi Arabia. All right, uh, they don't know uh, how. Uh, how the the culture here is uh, supporting as well uh, the um, the good and uh, the um, talent uh, in uh, yes, general. Yeah. Yes, yes, exactly. They, okay. they 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 don't know, but now they are they are uh, so supportive. 
they were they were afraid in the in the beginning. Okay, and uh, you know, since you've been you know giving us uh, little part bits and pieces of of different songs, can you sing a song for us? <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Anytime you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking what to sing for you, like um, classic Arabic music or uh, Khaliji. So um, oh. I will uh, say, for example, uh, Oh, ya salam al-dunya wa halawitha fa'in al-ashya يا سلام يا سلام على حلاوتها يا سلام يا سلام من همسة حب لقتني بحب ترا را 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 لقتني بحب ودو في الحب اه ودو في الحب وصبح وليل وليل على بابو like that okay yeah and small uh, one <laughs> small one right okay um and who sings the song um all right Nah, uh, you have to know. <laughs> yeah, of course. No, I mean, I, I, you know, I wanted uh, the viewers to know. I mean, I'm not yeah. very. I, I know who Um Kamathum is, but I don't really listen to to. to okay. I know she's very famous. Okay, by. this is one of the famous one uh, mm-hmm. called the uh, Sirt al Hub. Okay. Uh, it is like three. Uh, uh, let's say couplet. I'm not sure what is couplet in English, mm-hmm. but um, it is a big one that you when you you listen it. You listen to it from the beginning to the end. You're enjoying. Okay. Because she say, "Illi zalam tu al-hub, wa ultu aitu ali, ultu ali musharif." But then she got. Then she say, "Yalai fi kum, yaf habayikum." دلعي فيكم يا في حبايبكم أما الحب أما الحب يا روحي علي يا روحي علي So she's telling you a story okay. يلي ظلمت الحب mm-hmm. Then she say It is the, the fault of you Or no. the fault of uh, your lover. Okay. It is not about the love. Love is the best thing mm-hmm. that can happen. So it's either ever. your fault or your lover's fault. It's exactly. not love's fault. It is not love. For okay. Yeah. So why did you pick that song? <laughs> Because I love, it. I, I love it. I love yeah. it. And I love everything that is talking about uh, people who enjoying love. Mm-hmm. You know, you, like uh, there is another, another uh, song. Why all the songs went out of my yeah? head? I don't know. <laughs> okay, let me let me uh, get it now. Ya yunat shana hat shana sahar ya lub tabana tabana safar. يا عيون عطشانة عطشانة سهر يا قلوب تعبانة تعبانة سفر كتروا من الحب تلاقوا 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 في الضلمة ألف قمر بنحب يا ناس نكذب لو قلنا ما بنحبش بنحب يا ناس وما حدش في الدنيا ما حبش والدنيا ناس من غير الحب ما تتحبش من غير الحب ما تتحبش حتى الليمين زينا عشقين لكن خايفين ليمين تنين لو 
لولا الملامة يا هوى لولا الملامة لفرت جناحي على الهوى زي اليمامة وأطر وأرف رف في الفضاء وأهرب من الدنيا الفضاء وكفاية عمري كفاية عمري اللي انقضى وانا بخاف الملامة وانا بخاف الملامة واهمل ملامة All right, that's very nice. Yeah. So, what, you know, this is all classical Arabic. What's yeah. what's your favorite uh, Khadiji golf style uh, of, of, of song? Um, I love uh, I love the songs of uh, Muhammad Abdul Tuhul mm-hmm. uh, That okay. kind of, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, as well as I'm uh, from uh, Janoub, uh, I uh, from the south. Mm-hmm. Um, I love also Rima Janoubiya and this. Okay, all right. And um, basically, uh, so like, what song do you, like, is, is, is it a dream of yours to perform, you know, like that you haven't performed yet? I'm sure there's many. I didn't? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, the one that I told you about. Mm-hmm. It, is, uh, it is a very nice uh, song I never sing before. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah. All right. And I wish to, to sing more Khaliji as well. Okay. Yeah. So I'm uh, in Abha, I'm going to sing Rima Janubiya. Okay. So that's interesting for me. So interesting. It will be fun. Yeah. Interesting. So you're, 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 you must be like a hopeless romantic because, you know, a lot of the music you're talking about is, is about romance, love, and, and all that. It is uh, my yeah. type. Okay, so you must be in love with remote uh, working uh, due to your circumstance as a pharmacist and a, a singer. Because when you do all these concerts and everything, you can work remotely. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and um, as, a, as well as my manager, thank you, Terry. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, as well as my manager is, uh, is happy with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, it, yeah. and, and where you go, of course, Arab news is, is, is always getting uh, news from all around Saudi and in the region being the leading English daily. Uh, do you follow Arab news? Yeah, of course, yeah. Okay, and what do you like about Arab news? Um, it's, it's really special in the way they are um, giving the information. Uh, like, mm-hmm. it is not just to, to be trendy. Mm-hmm. They're giving the, the the truth in a very creative way. Okay. Mm-hmm. And have you seen this podcast, uh, this podcast before? Uh, I listened to uh, my friend uh, Chadi Al Harbi. Okay. The podcast with you. Oh, it was he's, amazing. It was he's, fun. He's a very nice guy. He's very nice. Hi, yes. Chadi. <laughs> Hello, Chadi. <laughs> yes, he's, am- he's amazing. He's okay. so special. All yeah. right. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, you know, before we wrap up our, our interview, is there a message you want to give to the Arab news viewers and listeners watching us or um, listening to us? Of course. Um, I always say, uh, like, follow your passion uh, and enjoy the life. Uh, life is uh, too short, so we shouldn't bother ourselves with uh, with the small things. Just mm-hmm. enjoy, enjoy, and follow what re- you really love, and uh, it will go great. All right. And uh, before we wrap up the the interview, is there a Khaliji verse you want to sing? Yeah. You... Okay. Of course. Mm-hmm. Mm. سلم علي بعينك إن كان بخلت دينك كل اللي بيني وبينك زعلات مر وسلام زعلات مر وسلام That's very nice uh, and uh... I could sit and ask you to sing from here till tomorrow, <laughs> but <laughs> but you. Uh, you know that's that's all the time uh, we have for this episode. I'd like to thank you very much for taking time and and uh, to be here and good luck in your future performances. Thanks a lot for this opportunity. I really enjoyed this interview. Uh, thank and you very much. I hope you too. All right, and uh, see you guys later. Tune into the next episode of the May Man Show. See you.